Hey everybody, today we're going to do part two of Reganti's player review. We're looking at his Kill It deck. It's a control Bruverhug deck list, and I I would prefer Enya here. This is my first thing I would like to say. The deck is good overall. I still prefer Dragoons over Hawker supports, but the difference is uh, not very huge. And sometimes the Hawker supports are better when you want to avoid scorching your own board. You can also see that this deck is probably effective against monster decks, both the Swarm style and the Consume style, with the Dothbon Archers helping you remove multiple things off the board and offset the unit so that it's hard for your opponent to get a lot of value out of their Triss Butterfly. Doing one damage to something, not only does it help you line up a Scorch, but it also makes Triss Butterfly only hit one thing that next turn. We ha also have a Sapper in this deck, and I think that's fine. Sapper is a really good way of confusing and tricking your opponent. It can bait out uh, locking cards like Kieran. Uh, I'm not sure if I like having Kieran in this deck, but you know, Kieran's locking stuff is sometimes important. I just think that there are better silvers that Skoytel has access to. But if you're playing Bruverhug, you're not so much concerned with having one bad you know, like a situational silver, because you can always get that situational silver when you need it as opposed to uh, Enya, where you, you want your silvers to be consistently impactful, since you don't have guaranteed access to all of them. Without further ado, we're going to go into a game. I hope you guys enjoy seeing Regenti play. Okay, our game is going to be against a Radovid player. I'm a little confused by a lot of the plays that were made in this particular game. Since you kind of expect a Bloody Baron play later. Here, I'm thinking, let's just remove the guy with Azure's Thunder before it buffs itself. There aren't really any other Azure's Thunder targets in a Radovid deck. We kind of know that our opponent is trying to lose this round. So there is no reason to really push out too much tempo. Deck thinning is really important early on. The earlier you can do it, the better. There isn't any good target here. So whichever you prefer is fine between the Truvial and the, the Brand. We're, we have a clear case that our opponent wants to just pass, uh, let it, wants us to pass this round. I would be tempted to use the shrooms to remove the weakened state on our hawker support, since I don't want to give his bloody baron any points. Instead, uh, Regenti opts for the archer. I'm not particularly sure why, but maybe because the archer is not going to get much value in round three. Okay, our opponent passes. They get their one point on Bloody Baron. I think that decision with the um, shrooms is going to get us later. <laughs> not to use the shrooms on our hawker support. Okay. So far, I like how this um, you're playing this round out. Though I might have used the Siri later rather than earlier. You don't want to put things on your side of the board against a Radovid player unless you absolutely have to. Okay. We decide to use the shrooms now for a total of seven points. Though it has some value when we want to unlock Siri later since we can use our leader ability to do that. However, personally, I would have passed this round out a lot sooner. <laughs> However, you're going for a longer round and you're also baiting out his leader ability, which is going to be more important in the final round when you want to play your ambush cards. 
Eh. But I would have like tried to avoid giving our opponent any chances to weather our board. Our opponent was a little unlucky. He drew into some of his weather. As opposed to being using the Adepts to get him. So we have that benefit. But we also drew into Saskia, which was weakened our plays. Here our opponent has to decide whether or not this is a buffed up Teruvial. Because if it was Teruvial that we played there, we would have won, uh, tied the round. And which would cause us to win the game. Fortunate for us, we were able to get card advantage through the fact that our opponent had to play more cards that round. And was baited by our sapper. They no longer have their leader ability. The uh, problem here is you know that they have Vernon Roach. So you might want to avoid using the Elven Mercenary until the last card. It might have been better. You were fairly safe from Scorches, and your opponent couldn't have played a Villain Trent Marath after a certain amount of turns unless he had Avalok. Well, good game. I think you could have done much better on the round two, but overall you did excellent. And the way you handled, you baited your opponent in round two, made it worth it. Thanks for sharing your footage with me, Regenti. And feel free to share more gameplay in the future. If you want to have your games analyzed by me, Submit a recording to the email in the description. If you can't fit in the email, send me a Dropbox link and I'll take care of the rest. Make sure to keep it at as high quality as you can get it, and I will do my best to help you become a better player.